Islanders. Did you see that kiss with Isaiah? <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? We are welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Royalty, and you are now watching Royalty React. Bam! <laughs> To all my Love Island USA fans, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to those of you who just subscribed. You're welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Do not stay at the door, okay? I'm hoping you will love it here. Okay, tonight's episode, episode 7 of Love Island USA. Okay, I know I said I was over the Trina Cinco Cash Love Triangle, and thank God it finally ended today, but let's just talk about what happened, okay? So... Cinco told Trina before he told Cash that he was moving on with Trina. And then Trina couldn't even keep her mouth shut for three and a half seconds, according to Matthew. You know, she went out, you know, bragging about it to Shannon and Kyra or Kira. And of course, Cash was just a seat away. And that was really disrespectful. Come on. Yeah. And she's like, I'm just so happy right now. And I hear that. Like, I'm like, you did it like literally an earshot of me. Like, this is what I mean about like respect. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like you don't do that to a sister. It's just the whole disrespect for me. It's not about, yes, we know it's not Friendship Island, Trina. <laughs> and we know it's Love Island, but it's not about friendship or it's just about respect. Just fellow respect for a sister and i think both trina and cinco messed up big time they had no respect you know how they went about it and cinco was like oh i've been trying to get your attention all day cash i've been trying to talk to you all day but brother like seriously i'm so busy working out like that's what i'm doing right now basically where i'm at right now I'm fine. I just want to work out. I don't really want to be bothered. And of course, <laughs> as you should, Cash, come on. We're all out supporting you, Cash. It's okay. Uh, you, we wish them good luck in their relationship and we hope they move on well and healthy. I hope, but because Leanne is there. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's it for the love triangle between Cash. Cinco and Trina. I really didn't like how Trina, you know, went to Cinco like, oh, um, then she can't handle it. Her, she's being immature. It's not Friendship Island. It's Love Island. And they laughed about it. That was really, really childish, if you would ask me. Love Island, not Love. Friendship Island. And then the same person goes back to to Cash to try to, you know, rub feelings with her. Oh, I know how you feel. Sh like, girl. Bye, girl. Bye. You don't know how I feel. Apologize that this is happening the way it is. It's like no. you totally do not know how I feel. So that was just like Trina is the kind of girl who will stab you at your back, say trash about you behind you, and then she comes to you, sees you crying, and is like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. They said all those things about you, and oh, come take a hug." But girl, you were there when they were saying all those things. You even contributed, but you never tried to defend me. She's that kind of a person. And Cash is the type of person who, even though she knows you are the factor, but because you are a girl or a sister, she would never fight a sister over, over a guy. That's the kind of person I perceive Cash to be. And that's why we respect Cash. Okay, so moving on. And of course, Josh and Shannon. The relationship still going on pretty well. I don't even know if Kira and <laughs> Will are existing in the house because the producer don't seem to be, you know, very much focusing on them. Maybe because they are just <laughs> like coupling up like married couples, okay? But yeah, it's a text message and the new girls had to pick someone to go on a date with. And of course, Leanne picked Cinco, Roxy picked Isaiah, and Florita picked josh and i was like oh immediately she picked josh we all could see Corey's face drop like uh, <laughs> you know and <laughs> and the conversation between Corey and giovanni was like oh my god giovanni was like hey why why are the ladies not interested in us and i i really felt bad for giovanni you know and Corey. but i i i thought you know that florita was into Corey, even though she later you know spoke to him about why she didn't pick him like she just wanted you know to like experiment and all of that but she's totally into Corey and hallelujah 
I'm so excited. <laughs> Aquarius is definitely having a connection with Florida. Okay, so about the date, Cinco also gave Leanne the impression that, hey, I'm open to, to knowing you. I'm open, I'm open to trying to know you. He never said, oh, I'm just trying to start a new relationship or I just found a new relationship with Trina. So I really like to focus on that. Brother is still open to trying to know someone else. So like... He always get himself mixed up and tied up. Well, who cares? Like, who is Cinco? Who is trying to... Oh, sorry, Trina. <laughs> who are they? I, I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> okay. And also, Roxy had a beautiful conversation with Isaiah. They kissed and really connecting with Isaiah. But <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> wait for it because there's a change coming. <laughs> okay. And then there was a game and then there was the what's in the box game you know where the, the box keeps going around the music stops and whoever has the box has to you know take the card of what is written and you know do as it says so <laughs> when it got to trina's turn and she was to you know try to throw a dice into a cup and since she didn't get it she had to pick someone and kiss them i felt like trina was just being so dramatic with her kissing like it was so uh, it was irky honestly because she was doing too much over the top come on girl it's just a kiss <laughs> It was just she was being too dramatic and of course when it was time for for cash cash has moved on yes she cried yes it was she felt bad but i love the fact that she cried about it and then she moved on pretty quick which is okay and so cash picked isaiah you know for for the game she was to give him a key yeah i like that she didn't try to pick anyone who who was already you know coupled up you know not trying to do the same thing trina did you know so yeah i like that she picked isaiah although when she picked isaiah you could see Rox's face like uh but hey girl you're just meeting him so girl chill okay just chill i like you but hey chill <laughs> yeah and oh my god after that kiss with isaiah brother couldn't get his head wrapped up together you know, like they say in Africa, one man's meat is another man's poison. Exactly. Cinco's poison was Isaiah's meat. It was for me, his eyes, the glow, the smiles, you know, while he was talking to, to Cash, the smiles, the blushing when he was talking to Cash. Like I never, I never could see that, you know, that glow, that excitement in Cinco's eyes. That was the attraction i was looking for you can imagine like cinco was like hey um with trina it's the passion with with cash is the personality and communication but hey with just one kiss for isaiah he can see the passion that cinco could never have seen like hey you couldn't see the passion but one guy one day one kiss he can already see the passion so for me it was just the excitement you know and the connection with them already you know i'm hopeful you know, uh, isaiah is trouble because amy likes isaiah roxy likes isaiah and trina is so over and done with any form of triangle right now she don't want to see no triangle let alone be in a triangle so yeah oh so oh, that was really steaming hot <laughs> And yeah, we, we felt that. We like that. Okay, so yeah. Um, Florita and Corey. I'm really excited with the conversation Florita had with Corey. And I like that Florita picked Corey during the What's in the Box game. That was just, you know, you know, and I'm just happy Corey's happy. And I think, you know, there's definitely going to be a kind of ship that can sail between florita and cory if they let it be you know like cory don't have eyes for nobody anyway so it's all up to florita if she's gonna go after josh 
or just focus on Corey. So yeah, that's it for tonight. You know, this set of Islanders, this Love Island USA cast, they know the assignments. They definitely know the assignments and they're definitely delivering. The show is going on pretty well and it's definitely entertaining. So yeah, that's it on tonight's episode. If you watched to this point, I want to say thank you. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to, if you like it here, okay? Turn on the post notification bell and I will see you on tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's episode. You all have a good night and be blessed. Bye.